This video explains how to calculate the mean by group in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step in this video, we need to import the pandas library as you can see in the first code box. So after running this line of code, we can use the functions of the pandas library and we can also use the data frame constructor as you can see in the second code box to create some example data. So if you run these lines of code, the data frame that you can see below the code box is created. So as you can see, our data frame contains eight rows and four columns, whereby the columns x1 and x2 contain numeric values and the columns group one and group two are group and subgroup indicators. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the mean values of the columns x1 and x2 by the group group one. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code snippet. So in this line of code, I'm using the group by function. Within this function, I'm specifying the name of the grouping column. So in this case, group one. And then I'm using the mean function to calculate the mean by group. So if you run this line of code, you can see the output that is shown below the code box. And as you can see, this output shows a mean value for each of the groups A, B and C for both of our columns X1 and X2. So for instance, the mean value of the group A in the column X2 is 14.0. We can also use the mean function and the group by function to group our data based on multiple groups, as you can see in the fourth code box. So in this case, I'm once again using the group by function to group our data. And then within the group by function, I'm specifying a list of column names. So in this case, I'm using the column names group one and group two to group our data based on multiple columns. And then as in the previous example, I'm using the mean function to calculate the mean by these groups. So if you run this line of code, the output shown below the code box is appearing. And as you can see, this time we have grouped our data based on two columns. And then we have calculated the mean value for each of these subgroups for all the numeric columns. So in this case, the columns X1 and X2. So for instance, the mean value of the column X2 for the subgroup AA is 12.0 and for the subgroup AB is 18.0. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.